What's going on, guys? This is the Counter Tyrant here. Um, Y'all may have noticed uh, one of the new videos I have uh, up called, uh, it's a new series called um, Brave Nubius. Um, essentially, it was inspired, one of my friends was talking about getting back into the game, and I was catching myself, like, explaining different things, and I don't know, it's just, it's been so long since a, a content cre uh, creator on YouTube has made anything, like, up-to-date regarding playing the game and um, the different mechanics that have been added to the game since. Like, you can catch it in Howl's and um, uh, Clicky Zolt's videos. Like, you can you can catch that stuff in it, but it's like, it's a footnote at best because they, there's so much other stuff to cover. So, um, I, I don't know how often I'm going to do, do these videos. Maybe like once every other day or something like that. Because it's not hard. It's just talking about general things that's in the game. Um, I've got to start mapping it out. How I'm going to do it. And like what, what I think you should prioritize if you're a new or slash newer player. Um, I pretty much consider if you haven't beat season one, you need to be a newer player. I even... I, even potentially season two, I don't know, it's pretty far in the game, but, um, if you, if you, if you, like, play your cards right, or, or your lapis in this case, um, it's really not hard to, to advance pretty far in the game pretty quickly, um, without, like, spending money, because that's, that's honestly, at the end of the day, that's, that's the the whole point and what I what I'm trying to accomplish with this is trying to get people to give the most value out of their game without spending money. I realize it's hypocritical because I've definitely spent money on this game, but um, I've lived and learned by doing that, um, and it'd be cool to pass that on to other people. Um, so, starting off, I mean, just general things: uh, complete the world, like like finish the story. Like, that's, that's such an important thing to do. Um, especially, I'll, uh, let's get back. Um, definitely finish G Grand Shell, Dornado, Zoldat, and finish Old Deer on. The reason why I say that is currently there's the World Revisit quest going on right now. So, like, if you don't watch any of my other videos, this is, like, worth a lot. Um... Because you have this world revisit quest. And essentially what this is, is you get double lapis. You get the lapis for completing the missions, and you get that exact lapis account again for claiming these. And this ends um, at the end of April. So um, you got a little over a week to get caught up through that, and it really doesn't take that long. Um, I mean, granted, the old missions from season one, season two are a bit more nitpicky because you had to. Man, why does my volume seem really loud? I think there's something wrong here. I, I need to check that. Um, I usually can't hear. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a quiet room right now. Where usually I'm like out in my car or something like that. But. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a big deal because you're you're able to stockpile your lapis. Don't spend on every banner. That's a huge lesson to learn. I didn't learn that lesson for a really long time. When I first got into the game, the first mix, the first six months I was playing, I was I was spending lapis on every banner. I wasn't spending money. I didn't really start spending money on the game till like eight months, eight nine months into the game. Um, and it was usually for limited characters. I was. I am a big limited character uh, chaser, so, um, yeah, like, I was chasing, and this is before, way before seven stars, seven stars was not a thing, um, four star characters were extremely manageable with all content, if you had the right gear, um, so, I, like, I was chasing characters like Ash, and I was, uh, Ash, and Victoria, uh, Zyrus, like, just a bunch of, like, I mean, just, cool sprite design four star characters like sure the five stars were cool but they were really hard to get back then it was like a one percent rainbow rate now it's like that was one percent for on banner and one percent for off now it's three percent 
so two percent for off one one on sometimes it's like one and a half i don't know they, they play with those numbers pretty frequently you have to always check the um the pull ratios and everything on the on the banners which also didn't used to exist um so like for instance here drop rates blah 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 so what five percent is that true Man, I have had really terrible luck then, because I have not come close. I, I haven't pulled. A, I, I've only pulled one hard Gilgamesh so far. It's crazy. Um, I, 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 ten, eleven, seven, seven percent. Man, that's high. Um, anyways, back to the topic. Uh, I've had some some other areas I've had a lot of luck with, a lot of success with, um, is saving tickets. Um, some people spend them right away. Recently, I would say within the last two, three months, I've been spending them right away. But that's because there's been a lot of cool banners I've been trying to participate on. Or I get lucky and I get... <laughs> I, 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 I do a free summit of some sort. I get the on banner rainbow. This started with freaking uh, Luna Freya, um, but the Noctis banner. I pulled one of her. And I was like, man, her kit's really cool, and it really is. Like, if you have her and you're not using her, like, you're messing up big time. She does so many things. Um. Um. I started pulling hard for her, and then I ended up pulling two Noctises and. I've barely touched him since, which comes to my next point. So finish, finish the other point. Um, yeah. So tickets, stockpile them. Wait till you get like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred tickets between your EX tickets and your rare summon tickets, your four plus tickets, all that stuff. And then summon it all at once on the banner that you like, really like. The reason why I say that I've had, I, I don't know. I just pull a crap ton of rainbows when I do that. I've only twice, I think, ever since playing the game when I've stockpiled like 70 plus that I have like crap pulls. And it's really not hard that hard to save up that many tickets um, between EX, because especially when they keep doing these, uh, these, um, uh, fount or, uh, fountain of Lapis, Fountain of Tickets, Mountain Tickets, like the, um, this, that, and the other thing. Um, so, but anyways, brings brings me to my other point. Be careful with damage dealers because if you pull on a on a banner with a really good damage dealer, like you're like one, you're a fan of the unit, and two, it's a very strong unit. It's been future proofed. They've done global upgrades on it. It was released in Japan. They upgraded it. And you can join Facebook pages. That's another big thing. Um, I'm getting a lot covered in this video. I'm, I'm going to break it down later. Like I'll study this video and, and expand on the points. Um, yeah, join face, join the, fa the global Facebook group. What, like, look at what veteran players are talking about. Um, but, yeah, when you summon them for a damage dealer specifically... Pay attention to see how much people are talking about the unit. Because if they're not talking about it, one, it's probably not that good. Or two, people aren't pulling on it. And if people aren't pulling on it, then you're not going to have friend units. So you're not able to have dupes to chain with. Um, sure, there's chaining families now. Chaining families didn't, didn't really exist when the game first started. Um, you had to have a dupe to, to do chaining-esque moves. And they, there weren't chaining families. That wasn't a thing. Um, sometimes pe people had similar uh, frame rates and people started associating the two characters with each other but um, like Onion Knight uh, Awaken Onion Knight and Star Player Titus they have very similar things in that they both have access to water they both do Stardust Ray but they don't have the same um, what's it called they don't have the same uh standard order of 
order of operations. Like what you do with Titus on turn one is probably different than what you do with, with Awaken on your night turn turn one. Um, so you need you need the dupes, like to 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 be most the, the most efficient. Um, used to people used to say don't get the STMR, like just keep two seven stars and then you can chain with yourself perfectly. That's actually not a bad idea. I. If I get two more star player Titus, I might not get the STMR. I don't know. It's a really good STMR, but it's not that... I, I, I don't know. I don't need it. Um, anyways. So, back to damage dealers on banners. Yeah, so, friend, friendless, huge. It's it's almost worth it to not pull it, pull for it in the like, early days of the banner just to see how your friends lists are changing. If friends list are changing like crazy, you you probably can pull on the on the um, banner. If they're not, like no one's pulling on. Like the Zidane banner that just passed, no one. I've seen one Zidane in on my friends list. No one's keeping him. Everyone's keeping um, Ed, whatever the guy from um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Everyone has that guy. Like I have like twenty Eds on my friends list. It's absolutely ridiculous um which is good because he also has stardust right and has water so it's not, it's not the end of the world for me um but yeah no one has titus anymore like titus has been taken off the map i, I don't know because of ed <laughs> he was literally released like a week or two later and people lost their minds and i was like well there goes the player that i was like really you know, the character i was really investing in um, I'm still looking for Titus friends, so if you uh, have Titus and you actually have him on your friends list, put your uh, code down below and I'll, I'll send you a link, I'll send you a friend request. Um, but yeah, currently, uh, my current mission right now is uh, say, like playing the series boss battles to try to get enough Lapis to finish out one more lap of uh, the Gilgamesh War of the Visions. Um, step up back to this um where is he so i need 2000 more to finish this step and then 5000 for step 3 um i have to do 2000 now so i need 7000 more um 7000 more right yeah 7000 uh go to nemesis I have one, two, three, four, five of these. Uh, you get 1,200 per one, so that's 6,000 out of the 7,000. So I beat five of these, then all I have to do is get 1,000. You get 300 on the weekends from login and arena, so there's 300. And then you get uh, about 100 a day from just log like just the regular login arena. It's the, the weekends you get 150, because they give you 100 in the login rewards. Um, and then there's like your regular like daily login stuff. Like not daily login, but the yeah, the daily rewards. Which here we have six we have eight fifty. So I have a little bit of wiggle room. I probably could not beat one of the series boss battles in the next week and be okay, but we're we're trying to do it all. So um I'm gonna play arena while talking. So Let's see how long this is. 13. I'll, go, I'll, I'll talk for a little bit longer. Um, arena is important because you want to uh, store up on pots as much as possible. When you first start the game, you're going to have a core team. And you're going to stick to that core team. Um, if you waver and you start potting everyone, you're going to run out of resources. And then when the unit comes up that, like vastly changes things then you're not going to have reason you have to wait to to make them better um pots are they're not nearly as rare as they used to be um the upgrade pots the magic pots whatever they uh yeah they're not nearly as rare as they used to be um this is my summoner team in case you, this is the first time you're seeing it uh, they're all summoners in one form or fashion. Um, the goal here is to spam out Odin as many times as possible. 
Um, I didn't notice that when Soul Diablos died, uh, Diablos turned to stone. Oops. I wonder if all those bring units do that. That's interesting. Um, so that's the big thing here. Uh, limited events, like when you're first starting the game, don't stress about it. Like, pay attention to the forums and the Facebook page or whatever to see if there's some, like, must-have item. But it's pretty far in between. It's, like, once a month, once every two months that we get a must-have item. Um, the most recent one that comes to mind is Moogle Charm, and that was, like, four or five months ago. Sure, there, there's just probably, like, people probably got, well, may, people may comment in the sec comments that there might have been something more relevant, but it's a... Uh, a 50% provoke with with like hard spirit and defense on it or something like that. Um, absolutely bonkers material. We, we we got it like three or four months ahead of schedule. So um, pretty cool. Hey, it turns the same. <laughs> um. Uh, support units, extremely important. Pull on support units more than you pull on damage dealers. Find the damage dealer that you want, like do some research, research JP, um, JP's, we don't have the exact schedule that JP has, but it's, it's close enough to, to be able to count on regarding, like, just doing general research. Like, just because we don't get it in the same order or whatever, doesn't mean we're never going to get those units. Um... Or we're gonna get Advent Children Cloud soon. We're getting um, Reagan and Diab or Reagan and uh, Odin soon, which that's a huge unit. We'll we'll, we'll see him in the within the next two months, I'm sure. Um, and if you don't know who Reagan is, guess what? Just play the story, and you'll find out eventually. Um, yeah, I, I promise to keep this spoiler free. Um, as, well, as spoiler-free as I can. I mean, I'm not going to, like, discuss the story at all in specifics, but if you see a character that you're like, ooh, I wonder who that is, don't, don't research it, because you'll spoil, the, you'll spoil the story. And the, season one, season two, um, is honestly the reason why I play this game still, because the story was that good. Season three, I'm not as impressed with. It's kind of... I don't know. I don't know if it's because I play it, like live as, as it's happening it's not as exciting just the cliffhangers aren't as good um the way they're they're approaching like combating everything doesn't really make as much sense as it did before because before you had like you had mages and stuff now you have like an actress uh an archer and the guy with the gun. Like, I don't know. It's just not... It's not as convincing. So... And I feel like the story should be more convincing as it goes on. Like, because you're... Like, you've bought in. Like, you've played the game this far. But if the story's not convincing in Season 3, like, it's not good. <laughs> I'm pretty much just playing it just to get the lapis at this point. Which kind of sucks. But, uh... Anyways, I digress. Um... Yeah... No, yeah, never watch, like, always watch videos with a grain of salt and everything. Like, never think that you have to have X, Y, and Z unit, X, Y, and Z STMR, none of that. Um, I'm kind of hypocritical in that sense because that, that's typically the way I roll just because I've been playing for a long time. And yeah, I've spent money on the game. Um, so, Sims are excellent guy that clears content with budget teams, um, um, man, I'm totally blanket on the guy's name. He has a beard. Um, he he recommends Sensar all the time. Uh, uh, Gonzi, Gonzi the Mage. Man, go watch that guy's content. Both of them are fantastic. Um, I, don't know, I just have to give credit where credit's due. And people that just clear stuff or jovial about it, um, really good at explaining things, always great. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a novice compared to them. I'm just, I'm just like learning, like learning the ropes kind of. 
for the like, last six months or so. Well, no, it's been about eight months now I've been on this channel. I um, just broke 15,000 views, so that's pretty big for me. But yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, y'all. Um, I'm going to make little, video, little videos. Like, I'm talking like five to seven minutes tops. Anything longer than that, then it's getting cut. Um, so be on the lookout for those. If you have any specific topics you want covered, um, anything, like seven star fusing, how to best utilize um, expeditions, or just anything, like <laughs> just list something and I'll talk about it. But uh, thanks y'all for checking it out. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, this has been The Counter Tyrant.